Asia Location Extent Asia is the largest continent in the world. It extends from the tropical zone to the polar zone. It extends from 10 degrees north, 80 degrees north latitude and from 28 degrees east to 170 degrees west longitudes. 66 and half degrees north latitude Arctic Circle and 23 and half degrees north latitude Tropic of Cancer passes through this continent. At 90 degrees east longitude passes through the center of the continent 0 degrees latitude which is the equator passes through the southeast of Asia. Asia is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean on the east, the Ural Mountains, Ural River and Capsian Sea on the west, Arctic Ocean on the north and Indian Ocean in the south. The area of Asia is 44.25 million square kilometers. It occupies 29.81% of the world's area. The geographical area of India is 3.28 million square kilometers. The largest country in Asia is Russia with an area of 17.01 million square kilometers. The smallest country is Maldives with an area of 300 square kilometers. Physical features, landforms, rivers. Asia is the largest continent in the world. It covers 30% of land surface of the globe. The main landform of Asia can be divided into plains, mountains, plateaus and group of islands. Landforms Plains Plains cover 32% of land surface in Asia. The Siberian plain of Russia in the north of Asia extend from Ural Mountains to Pacific Ocean. Some of the important river valleys are Erravati River Valley in Myanmar and Mekong River Valley in Southeast Asia and Tigris and Euphrates in Iraq. Mountains Mountains cover 20% area of Asia. Himalayas are the northern boundaries of India. Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world. It is located in the Himalayan range of Nepal. The height of Everest is 8,848 meters. Plateaus In Asia, Iran, Tibet, Panir Plateaus, Anatolia Plateau in Turkey, Kabto Plateau in Mongolia, Deccan Plateau in India, Shan and Tina Shan Plateaus of China are the important plateaus. Rivers Indus Ganges, Brahmaputra, Krishna, Kaveri are the important river systems in India. Deserts The large area of land where there is no agriculture and rehabilitation due to lack of water is called a desert. Thar is the biggest desert in India. The important deserts are Arabia, Syria deserts in Asia and Gobi deserts in Asia and Gobi deserts in Mongolia. Island Groups Indonesia is the largest island group in the world. It consists of 13,500 islands. Japan and Philippines are also groups of islands. Andaman, Nicobar and Lakshadweep are the important groups of islands in India. Climate Asia has a wide variety of climate as it extends over 1718-432 kilometers from the polar region to the equator. The central part of Asia is very hot in summer with nearly 30 degrees Celsius of temperature and the winter is very cold with less rainfall. There are extreme variations in the annual rainfall of Asia. Chirapunji and Masindram of India receive highest rainfall in Asia. Forests, Wildlife 
natural vegetation influences the climatic conditions of a place. The northern part of Asia which is totally covered with snow is called Tundra region. In Tiger region we find coniferous forest, pine, fir, spruce, lashes and birch are the important trees that grow here. The southern grasslands of taiga are called steppes. Deers, camels, donkeys and cheetahs are found in these grasslands. Population Important Cities Asia is the most populated continent in the world. The population of Asia is about 3,900 million. This continent occupies around 65% of the world's population. The population mostly extends in the fertile river valleys, coastal and cities. China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Indonesia are the most populated countries in Asia. Less population is seen in northern and eastern Siberia, Central Asia and the Arabian Desert. India located in the southern Asia has Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Hyderabad and Bengaluru as its important cities. As people from different countries and cultures live in Delhi, it is called cosmopolitan city. Agriculture Nearly 70% of Asia's population depend on the agriculture for livelihood. Shifting cultivation, intensive agriculture and extensive agriculture are some of the methods of cultivation prevailing in Asia. In shifting cultivation, the tribals cut the trees and clear the land for cultivation. They shift to another place where land loses its fertility. Extensive agriculture is practiced in some parts of Central Asia. In this, the land holdings are large in size and machinery is used for cultivation. The crops of Asia can be divided into food crops and commercial crops. Examples of food crops are rice, wheat, ragi, dates, millets are some of the food crops. China, India, Bangladesh, Japan and Southwest Asian countries are the main producers of rice. Wheat is grown mostly in China and Northern India. Minerals Industries Minerals are the most valuable natural resources available on the earth. They are dug out of mines. We find minerals in and on the earth. Digging of mines lead to industrialization. Metallic minerals Iron, manganese, bauxite, copper, lead, zinc, chromite, gold, silver, limestone, gypsum and dolomite are the most important metallic minerals of Asia. Non-metallic minerals Mica, asbestos, pearls, graphite, salt are the most important non-metallic minerals available in India. Fuel minerals. The most important fuel minerals are coal, lignite, crude oil and natural gases. China, Russia, India and North Korea are some of the coal producing countries. Industries. Iron and steel industries are mainly concentrated in Russia, Japan and China. Cement and cotton textiles industries are seen in Russia, India, China and Pakistan. Electronic goods produced on a large scale in Japan. South Korea and Taiwan have an international demand. We find chemical industries in Russia, China, India and Japan. Timber industries are found in Indonesia. Russia occupies First place in iron ore production. Transportation trade. Transportation plays a vital role in industrial and economic development of a country. Transportation. Roads, railways. 
Asia has the most modern highways. Japan and India have well laid highways. An international highway connects Singapore and Istanbul in Turkey. In India, important cities are well connected with national and state highways. It has 3.34 million kilometers of roadways. The Indian Railway is the largest in Asia. Indian Railways transport 15.5 lakh tons of goods and nearly 28 millions of passengers every day. India has 62,700 kilometers long railway line. Japan has an extensive railway system with 32,200 kilometers of railway line. The longest railway in the world is over 8,640 kilometers between Volgograd and Vladivostok in Russia. Waterways Foreign trade is carried on through waterways to a large extent. These days due to the manufacture of ships. River Ganga, River Brahmaputra in India, Yangtze Kiang in China, Irrawaddy in Myanmar, River Volga and River Don in Russia are the most useful waterways. Suez Canal is important to India for transport. The important waterways in the North Pacific region in Asia is Manila to Vancouver via Koba, Yokohama, Seoul via Hong Kong and Shanghai. Airways Airways are useful in the speedy transportation of goods and passengers. The important international air routes in Asia are 1. Singapore-San Francisco 2. New Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Colombo. 3. Tokyo, Manila, Hong Kong, Bangkok, Colombo, Mumbai, Delhi. 4. Moscow to Beijing, New Delhi, Kabul. The domestic air race has been developed in many other countries of Asia. International Trade The trade among the various countries of the world is called international trade. Japan imports foodstuffs, raw materials, petroleum, iron ore, coal and cotton. It exports industrial goods, machinery, steel, automobiles and chemicals. The South Asian countries export mainly rubber, coffee, formalin, teak, sugar, iron, petroleum and tin. The Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and UAE export petroleum. The important exports of India are germs, jewelry, tea, coffee, spices, sea products, leather, ready-made garments, machinery, iron ore and chemicals.